Utah's COVID surge continues. A state's seven-day average has jumped to 516 cases per day. It's the first time that number's been over 500 since March. Well, right now, 241 COVID patients are currently hospitalized in Utah, including 101 in the intensive care unit. More than 2.9 million COVID vaccines have now been administered in Utah, but officials still want that number to be higher. Yeah, new research out there right now shows more than half of unvaccinated Americans live in households that make less than 50,000 a year. New specialist Debbie Wortham looked into those numbers today. Debbie, what did you find out? Well, we found out that it's all across the board. There are so many reasons that people are not vaccinated. It can be anything from not enough information to not being able to take time off of work. But like so many other parts of COVID-19, we found out the issue is very divisive. It's a pleasant night <laughs> at Liberty Park. And while people are coming together to enjoy the evening, when it comes to COVID vaccines, I was vaccinated, when was it? I guess in March now. Opinions are still divided. I'd rather wait like six more months to, to see what happens. It's a huge challenge. Carolyn Moreno works in community outreach with the Salt Lake County Department of Health. It's a challenge across the board at this point. Everybody who really wanted a vaccine at this point has one, right? Moreno has worked for months with groups in low-income areas to ensure vaccine accessibility. And she also sees the trend that's happening nationally. Across the country, more than half of unvaccinated Americans have household incomes less than $50,000 a year. One challenge, according to Moreno, is clear information. I think there's people from all over the spectrum of all socioeconomic backgrounds that, you know, have different beliefs. Those beliefs may or may not be based on facts. For Surin, I believe in the in the science. I got it because I'm a teacher, so I think it's really important. As Angela spends the evening with her own kids, she believes others should get protected too. Some people, they say they don't want to get it because they're going to get sick, but it's worse not to get it. Casey doesn't want the issue to be divisive, but is glad he and his family have had the shots. I don't think it's super helpful to put on too much pressure, right? For Caroline, her message is this. If you have concerns about the vaccine, please talk to somebody who knows about it, who knows accurate information. Which is still not enough yet for Tatiana. I'm not sure if this is gonna help me or get me in trouble. Now, Moreno says it's important to the Salt Lake County Health Department to have people feel comfortable about getting the vaccine, something that still just might take time. Back to you. Yeah, like you said, there are reasons that run the gamut. Debbie, thanks.